Here we go. Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow. Sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda Mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means. Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! That was a probe droid. Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. This signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Brass, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Everybody stay off comm starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. It's the first time I've made it planetside. Not sure what to expect, so keep your eyes open. Of course. That storm is cutting down visibility. Hedda picked her hideout well. That's the one. It's damaged, but we can't chance it sending an alert. Data spike is online. The droid is sending an all clear. Rass and his weird signal did it. I'm also getting locations for additional droids in the area. Let's track them down. That should be it. With the conditions out here, they must swap these out regularly. Let's see if we can find where they're coming from. You work for Hedda Cole. Who? No, Darmanda hired us. Look, we came straight from orbit. No questions asked. Some kind of top secret thing, okay? We're here to check on some droids. Then you have no value. 
Hold on! Darmanda has another group of techs down here. They're setting up a relay station to cut through all the storm interference. All comms will go through there. That's worth something to you, right? What are you doing? Basque will kill us! Where's the relay station? You must be the smart one. Talk. I, I don't know. Not exactly. But here, take this. Maybe there's something that can help in there. So, what happens with me? We need to keep you quiet for now. What? Risky. Maybe. Let's get this back to Ras. Have you found anything useful on that device, Ras? I did, despite a few interruptions. Reinforcements are here. Not surprised to see you here, Akavi. You've been instrumental in helping against Heta's forces. Heta call owes a debt of honor. I would see it paid. A few more blasters to make sure we don't get eaten by some kind of rock monster. You said you found something. We'll talk later. Yes, some fancy slicing and a bit of math, and I've got a likely location for the relay station. I've gotta say, this would be easier if we used comms, even if they're glitchy. Silence is just slowing us down. We won't have to remain quiet for much longer. When the time is right, it'll be a firestorm. That relay station gives us an advantage on the ground and might put us on Hedda's trail. About that. Maybe let us handle the relay station? I've got an idea about that trail you're looking for. Go on. Well, the data from the device got me thinking about Hedda's base. You know where it is? Not exactly. Here, look at this. I added the relay station data to the patrol routes we got from the droids. See that? I mean, it's a lot to cover, but it's something. This is good. There are only a few places her base could be. We'll need to do this on foot. Wish I had my old hunting strill. Wait, you had a dog? A strill. Oh, they're the best! Ross. Right. Okay. Yes. Second team will head to the relay tower, and you two will search for the base. Is there any way to cut down on the search area? Time's a factor here. Not that I can see. I make too many assumptions, and we could waste even more time. Before you head out, take these. A little something I've been working on. Let's you listen in on the bad guys. Might be handy. I'll go prep. Give the signal when you're ready to move. A coffee. I knew you'd be a part of this hunt as soon as your name came up back on Odessan. I appreciate being asked to help in the hunt. Anything I should know? We cannot fail. Hedda wants to be Mandalore and her power grows. Her followers were once true Mandalorians, but they were weak and they fell. We don't know much about them. When I dealt with the attack on Jakaya and the Spirit of Vengeance, it was a mix of clans and other groups. Heta has given them purpose. We should be careful not to underestimate her. Agreed. I would be foolish to think her blade isn't sharp. But we waste time. You have a trail to follow, and I have a relay station to find. Well, here we are again. Jakaya sends his regards. He said he likes knowing you've got Mandalore's back. I mean, I assume he meant my back too? Has he had any issues since being named Arbiter for the Mandalorians? Not really. I mean, he's very enthusiastic about telling everyone what to do. <laughs> I should have warned Mandalore about that. It's strange. I saw him lead people in battle, under fire, carrying wounded, all of it. But rarely sorting out some twisty political dispute. He's good at it. Well, of course he is. I'm just getting used to the different uniform, you know? What about you? Learn to play the grouty harmonic? Save the galaxy a few more times? 
I'm constantly trying to be everywhere at once. And today you're here. I get it. I owe you one. Learn anything else while we were gone? Not much. Comms are rough, but you knew that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Another thing. We underestimated our enemy's forces. The number of ships we saw coming in was impressive. We need to do something about them. I'm not sure what. I believe you. I've seen you improvise. Reminds me, I've got more gear to pack if I'm gonna slice a relay station. Very well. Are those signal amplifiers? Makes sense. Comms are a mess. Adjusting sound. Field Marshal wants a report on the probe droids. Dust must be making them touchy. This is a waste of time. Be patient. Clan Harongir has been very generous. Our place is assured when this war is over. Clan Harongir. I figured we'd see them around here. Like I said before, they're old money. Many clans got rich from plunder during the Mandalorian Wars generations ago. I want those days back, and Head is the answer. She sees the independence of that time as the purest form of honor. Problem is, mistaking greed for righteousness almost destroyed us. Let's move out. We must be on the right track. See those signal amplifiers? Armor looks like Clan Varad. If you don't report in, I have to come out here. That makes your clan look incompetent. I answer to the field marshal, not you! Educate this new recruit, or it's on you. Clear? Yes, Rakan. I will bleed him and his sister. Rakan earned his glory and blood. Don't shame me again in front of him. Grab your gear. We're on watch for the landing area. They mentioned a landing area. Let's take a closer look. Rakan mean anything to you? No. Let's go. Got some signal amplifiers over there. You see them? See anything? Ships. Definitely the landing area, well hidden, walled off. We're not getting in that way. I see some Varad troops. Movement. Darmanda patrol. You see our people on your way back? Nothing but blasted heat and animals. Something going on. Your text didn't report in either. First of all, they don't report to Varad. Second, the comms are a mess. Don't worry about it. 
The field marshal wants that relay station up and running now. Patrol's done. I'm off the clock. You worthless Minog lovers. Grab your drug, people. We're checking on that relay station. A Varad patrol is headed right for our people. We break comm silence to warn them we risk jeopardizing this whole mission. They can handle themselves. You're right. Let's move out. Let's see if we can find a way into that landing area. Okay, I have spliced into the comms. That should make things easier. You seeing anything bad out there, Akavi? Nothing yet. All quiet. More coming! Time to even the odds! I think we found a way in. A comm tower. Guards. Cargo reference 011 SOV2. These artifacts are tagged to be reviewed today. You think it's the field marshal's new recruit? We don't ask. What about the new ship acquisitions? Quality vessels, mostly carriers and long-haul ships being repurposed for her fleet. More on the way. They're shod. We need to get in there and cut communications so her fleet can't be mobilized. We've been lucky so far.
A Jedi? Padawan. My master was murdered. Condolences. Now put that thing down. No. I know you. Your picture was featured in my reports from Elom. It's Sahar, Padawan Sahar. Malgus slew your master, did he not? How do you... I know who you are. Stay back. Sahar, it's Rakan. Where are you? I need you to bring that holocron back to... Shay! Where's Hedekal? Enough! None of us will get what we want this way. Tell her to back off! Darth Null's holocron. What did Malgus want with it? Just go! Get out of here! I don't know anything that can help you! What's going on? What does Heta have to offer? You wouldn't understand! Try me. Gone! And she destroyed my tracker! We got nothing! Hartuck! It's only a matter of time before she sounds the alarm and brings an army back here. Come on! We need to ground the whole operation until we locate Hedda. We needed information. Sahar was the only one who could have told us more about Darth Null's holocron. Hedda is my only concern. Don't get distracted. Let's move out. This has to be the command center. See if you can find out where Hedda's hiding. I'll scan for any uninvited guests. There's nothing about a location for Hedda's base, but it looks like we control the only communication tower. Then we bring Hedda to me. Blow this place to dust. Cut off comms and send up a flare she can't miss. Wait, we're in control of their communications. Let's use that. Hedda's people could already be on their way. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Otherwise, I'm taking this place out and setting off every alarm. Alarms? You have an idea? Perhaps. I recall you owned a hunting dog. A strill, yeah. Why? Perhaps Hetta's dogs would enjoy a game of fetch. A false alarm. Send her fleet to chase empty space. You'd have to leave the comm center in one piece. I like messing with Hetta's toys, but I don't want to miss a chance to cripple her network. Don't be foolish. We can remove her entire fleet with the press of a button. Watch your tongue, Sith. Get it done before I change my mind. Done. Now I'll cut all communication to those ships. Can't ever dogs being called back too soon. Wouldn't be able to if we blew the whole place up. Okay. Let's see if anything around here leads to Hedda.
might need to make more noise. Over here. Find anything? A few pieces from the Spirit of Vengeance. The Ashad had very specific goals in mind with that attack. I didn't expect someone following the Jedi ways to be fighting for Hedda Cole. What do you think is happening there? It was Malgus. The encounter left a scar. No one... Uh, few could walk away unscathed. True. It's always better to understand what he wants than to get in his way. Hard lesson to learn. I'm not finding anything here. Let's move on. Nothing so far. See if you can find anything on that console. Well, well. Not who I was hoping to catch. I shouldn't be surprised. Sahar mentioned she ran into you. Your attempts to question her loyalty failed. There's nothing stronger than family. Mm, you look uncomfortable. At least I know Basque wasn't lying about the power of these sonic weapons. And hey, no hard feelings. I know there's a lot of drama between us, but that's all ancient history. But no Shay, I see. Anything to avoid her duties as Mandalore. No doubt she'll be along soon to face me. Why are you doing this? Unity. Shay can't or won't bring the clans together. The Mandalorians are scattered and uncertain. They could be an unstoppable force with the right leadership. And that's you. Shay's arrival was expected. But your involvement is a delicious wrinkle. You were doing so well slithering around like a jacar. And the ploy with my ships? <laughs> Clever. You understand subtlety. Impressive. I've never much cared for Darjeti, but I like you. So, do I use you as bait or cut your throat? Enough! I challenge you. Face me with honor, or show your followers what you truly are. Shay. Hedda. I accept. The standard trappings are right here and now. Anytime, anywhere. Runak is a dull place. Let's give my people a show.
Take her. Bring her. Any problems in transport, it's your head, Darmanda.